Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now let's try to implement the navigation guards in our existing project. Now if you try to see here, we are we are not logged in. The user is not logged in. And if you try to see here, we are all. And if I click on the notes, we are able to go into the notes page. And if I click on that stats, and we am able to go into the stats page also. But here what we need to do is, when the user without logged in, when he tries to access the notes page or the stats page other than the auth, we should not allow him to enter into these pages. So we should ask him or we should redirect him to the authentication page to uh, and ask him we need to uh, and ask the user to log in. So that means if I click on the notes here, the currently the user is not logged in and we need to ask the user to log in. So that means we need to redirect to the auth page. In the same scenario, if I am in the auth page, so for example, if I am in the auth page, if I am in the auth page and I will try to log in, okay, I am trying to log in. And here, if I logged in, now the user is logged in, right? Now, if I go to the auth page, that means login page, here I am again able to access this auth page. Why? Be, but, but this should not happen. Why? Because the user is already logged in and he is trying to log in again the user is already logged in so that means here we need to move the user to the notes page automatically we need to redirect the user to the notes page why because the user is already logged in right so we should not allow him to uh, see the auth page so for this one what we need to do is so we can make use of the navigation guards which is available in the view router so we have a navigate we have learned about the navigation guards different types of navigation guards like uh, uh, global navigation guard component navigation guard and also route based navigation guard like that we have seen it right so let's try to open the view router so that you can have the clear understanding view router if i go into the official view router let's click on the get started if you try to see here in the advanced you will be able to see the navigation guard here right now we are able to we are using this global before guard before each guard so that means before navigating from one route to another route this router will be executed so this one i am trying to write it in the globally so here we are writing in the main.js file in this main.js file i will be writing this global for each so uh, global before each so here i can use this router dot before each this is the routing i am using and this takes an callback so which will give will get to and from so this to and from means to which route it is navigating from which route it is going so to which route it is going to from which route now what we need to do so here we need to check that if user is authenticated so if user is authenticated then we need to check here if to dot name is not equal to auth okay if two dot name is equal to is equal to if two if user is authenticated and the and the authentic and the and the page he is navigating is an auth means then we need to redirect him so we need to redirect him to the notes page if the user is not authenticated and the page is not equal to auth means then we need to redirect him to the auth so here first what we need to do here we need to get that user is authenticated how we can know that whether user is authenticated or not so where we know we have the auth store right the, in the auth store you will be able to have the data so here in the auth store you will be having a user which is an empty object in this user you will be having two details email and the user id so if you are having a user id in your auth store means then you can think that the user is authenticated so that means in order to access the auth store you can directly call the auth store is equal to auth store is equal to use auth store okay so this is our auth store and you can check here if user is authenticated means so you can have a is authenticated so you can have a variable is authenticated then is authenticated means that means auth store dot user dot uid okay so this is the thing so if it is present means then it is authenticated okay so if it is there means then it is true or otherwise it is false so you can have it like this also now you can write in such a way that if he is authenticated if he is authenticated ampersand ampersand and the url you are trying to access so here i will try to show you the console.log2 
so here and uh, uh, i will show you the console.log of 2 what is the data you will be having so 2 if you try to see here the object and let's try to refresh this page and here in the console you will be able to see the 2 and here the name is node so this one is the node so if i go to the auth page okay if i go to the auth page then you will be able to see here the name is auth so here what i can do if the user is authenticated if user is authenticated ampersand ampersand and the two dot name is equal to is equal to auth so if the user is authenticated then also he is going to the authentication means auth page means then we need to return him to the notes page so that's it if you try to see here let's say that he is authenticated okay so oh log out let's log out so we are able to access the auth page without any problem and if you are trying to do test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six i am trying to log in so now the user is authenticated now he is trying to go to the auth page now if he if he goes to the auth page automatically he will be redirected to the notes page so this is how we will be doing now in the same scenario if the user is not authenticated if he is not authenticated and two dot name is not equal to auth then is not equal to auth then what we need to do we need to return him to the auth that's it that's it finish we need to return him to the auth now if you try to refresh this page now if i want to go to the now he is logged in right so i will, I will be logging out okay now I will, I will try to go to the notes here if i click on the notes still we are in the auth page only why because the user is not authenticated and here if i try to log in test at the test.com and one two three four five six so here let's try to do dot com and if i log in here i'm able to access this page and if i go to the auth page it will be redirected to the notes so this is how we will be doing the authentication navigation guard so here we are using the global before each navigation whenever we are navigating from one page to another page so this method will be executed now what i will try to do is i will commit this all the code in a new branch that is video-109 and global before each god navigation god now i will commit this all the code let's commit this all the code i am publishing this branch also so now I have did this one we are maybe having a doubts and all those things I have already have a github repository for this project so we are maybe having a doubts and all those things they can go to this particular repository URL and whatever the video you are trying to watch it you can go to that particular video branch and you can refer to the code so hope you hope you understood about this navigation gods and all those things if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.